Flight boss, bitch. You know, for sure. You're now listening to the mind of an Terry's moon. Flight boss, the Archangel Uriel. And I'm here to carry out God duties and motherfucking responsibilities. Now, right now, in this video, I want to talk about spiritual intruders. Spiritual intruders. Now, I'm going to talk about it metaphysically first, but then I'm going to correlate it with astrology. Because one thing I'm starting to understand is when you go too far to the right brain, because look, I'm going to tell you right now. I'm an Aries sun, Sag moon, Leo ascendant. My moon is 8 degrees Sag, my sun is 17 degrees Aries, my uh, ascendant is 17 degrees Leo. That's 888. Eight, eight. You know what I'm saying? 24. Breaks, de breaks down into 6. So, sun, star, consciousness. A ain't nothing logical about me. You see what I'm saying? So, a lot of times, it's understood that I could be too far in the right brain. Too far uh, yeah, in the right brain. That's a right. Br that's the Yang, right brain, signs. The fire. You see what I'm saying? Right. Br right brain signs elements are water and fire. I'm the Yang external version of the right brain. So I like to take my inner world and express it out. Out. So you know what I'm saying? But I understand my problem though. But see, you got a lot of logical people and rat and people who's too rational and want to put titles and. And, and put titles and language to everything and words to everything and words hold blockages to other thoughts and imaginations and shit because words become physical. You know what I'm saying? So before it's, before it's in the density of becoming physical, a person has used too much logic, aka used too much of their left brain, if they go too far over there, then they... They need titles and words for everything, but they lose themselves so far in the left brain that people can't feel them. They don't have no vibrations. They become vampires. So they have to suck off other people that got vibrations that make people feel a certain way. And or they need to drink and analyze and throw titles and words onto these people in order to make themselves juiced up again. AKA make them feel better or have a certain vibration or, or feel like they have a purpose or feel like they have a place in the world or something like that when really you're just experiencing being on the other polar side of the spectrum, which is you going too far left brain. You know what I'm saying? You have to learn how to, you know, kind of blend them in. So, you know, when we want to talk about spiritual intruders, a lot of times spiritual intruders are people who are too lost in the left brain. You know what I'm saying? So you have to be careful of that. People who are always trying to logically understand something. Somebody always trying to put a title onto something. You come to them expressing how you feel about something and they have a name for it. They have a title for it. And, and what they're not understanding is they're constructing a situation with their words by saying this. And they're blocking their experience from feeling or understanding the vibration of the energy where it's coming from because they got they have a dam there from the water foot so the water flow this is the rainbow water I'm talking about the the esoteric water the what you see up there in space the, that waters whatever they was talking about at the beginning of any Bible those waters fuck all that shit though I call it rainbow waters you know what I'm saying that's the water that's the Aquarius dude he was pitching that water that's the water he was pitching you know what I'm saying? So, you niggas who use too much left brain, they try to be too logical, words become physical. But in the astral realm first, in a higher dense realm. So, the, the, the language, the law, the, the wording, the titling, and the frequency vibration that that word you put out creates a dam. It creates a dam there. It's like a, a, like a dam. And then that dam, it's like a firmament. And it, and it blocks, and it blocks the, the, the heaven waters from coming into your waters. So you got all these words right here and shit like that building a dam. And then the rainbow waters, the waters can't even, you know what I'm saying? So you're not, re you're not receiving any new vibrations or you, you, you don't even know where these energies and these vibrations is even coming from. So anytime you feel it, you jump up out the feeling real quick and start and, and take the feeling and put it in your head space. Like, oh, that's not a feeling. What is this? Logically. Then you try to logically put it together in your head. And then what you don't understand is you block the dam of understanding what you're doing. So only only thing you understand is the word and what it was taught. But you don't understand the vibration and the feeling. So you can't actually put that to use. Whatever you have learned, you can't put it to use because you don't know where that vibration came from. And the only way you can put it to use is by logically understanding it, who taught you the word and how it's constructed. So you're just out here building roads, building block, building roads, building firmaments, building blockages. But look, 
all these roads and blockages and dams you're building is like lands. It's like lands and buildings and shit like that. And what happened when you got land and building? You have to walk around. You can't just walk straight through on your land into the meadow. You have to walk around and shit like that. So what's happening is you blocking yourself off from the land. You're blocking, you're blocking yourself off from the esoteric nature. Not the nature you physically see. You know what I'm saying? The internal nature. You know what I'm saying? The real spower on the roundness. We know everything what you put out comes back around. You know what I'm saying? So that is the roundness is a vibration. You know what I'm saying? When you leave your family, you always come back around. You always rotate. Time always rotating. Fluid always got a rotation. You know what I'm saying? Something is always rotating before you see a physical aspect of rotation. You see what I'm saying? So it's deep. So when you want to talk about um, a, 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 a spiritual intruder, that's someone who's too external, too left brain, and they you, you got to drink with all your bodies go to my video when I say the three forms of eating not only do you eat physically but you eat spiritually and you eat with your soul eating spiritually is, is like receiving a lot of frequencies gaining a lot of ideas and stuff once you got so many ideas stuffed in your head you gotta express this shit right so you start to gain them so you shit you shit spiritually and it goes down it goes down into you your soul now now you feel it your vibration so you want to you want to express these ideas and shit like that now you exhausting that energy out now once you ex you exhaust all these feelings and emotions out you tired now you got excited you got happy you got sad whatever like that your body you exhausted now now you you exhausted with your soul now what happens i'm hungry boom you go find something you you go you shit from your soul and then then it goes down that fertilization goes down to your body now now your body need energy so you go eat you go drink you know what i'm saying i prefer orange juice 100 percent you know what i'm saying um doom then once your body do that then your body then that that the physical process of eating then that gotta go down and then you physically uh do uh put out your waste you see what I'm saying? So, you have to understand how a person who could be a, a spiritual intruder is a person who never goes within. And their only version of going within is what they learned from another man that went within. Or another woman who went within and came up with these analogies and these philosophies about what does this mean when you do this. So, the person who's learning about it logically by the words and stuff, they're not actually in that vibration or energy. They actually put up a dam and a blockage to receiving that energy and that dam and blockage that dam is like when the agents was writing shit on the wall like what does this mean so instead of receiving the actual the actual energy and being in the energy of whatever you're trying to say you got a dam there and then you writing on a wall what what this dam is see what i'm saying so you you go into your mind if you want to experience that or not and a lot of times these things is not meant for words and and going into your head when you want to experience it because you're not genuinely experiencing it and I know logical people is not going to understand that but this is one of the reasons why you are a spiritual intruder now also <clears throat> before we go into the astrology aspect of it um, another another thing too when it comes to a, a, a spiritual intruder now look a person who semi know themselves who semi know themselves they're they have less chances of being a spiritual intruder. So you can kind of get, you could, they'd be on the positive aspect. Because it's a yin and yang to everything, a positive and a negative to everything. Now, a person who don't know themselves, you will know they don't know themselves because after you be around them, you feel drained. They always, they always put you in the, the negative field of energy once you leave them. You know what I'm saying? So you got two, so, so this is how you decipher the two. How, a person who make you feel a little alright or you can gain something from them or learn something from them in any kind of way, shape, or form. These people who know themselves a little bit. The people who don't know themselves at all, you feel the negative aspect of whatever they're trying to do. You know what I'm saying? Now, whatever they're trying to do correlates with the planets. Now, we're going to get into astrology right now. We're going to talk about the chakras and the planets right now. Now, we're going to correlate to the correlated to astrology. So, like I said, now, let's talk about... Um, now let's get into this now say you're around a person right now you got this this person that you're around like you you feel you feel like man you can appreciate them you can value them you can relate to them 
You know what I'm saying? You could relate to them in some type of way. It may take some some minor compromising because y'all still two different people with two different lives, but you feel good after you leave this person or you feel average or, or nothing at all. You know what I'm saying? But it's not a negative vibration. You just feel like, damn, I can relate to this person. Then say you're around another person that these people make you feel like, damn, e even if you've known them for a while, it's certain things y'all can't relate on. Every time you're around them, you feel you feel obligated, like you have to give something. You feel like you have to overvalue something. They try to make you, force you to appreciate things you may not appreciate. But you just keep these people around based upon the relationship you have with them. You may They may be family or they may be friends or they may be someone you've known for a long time. So you set aside, you know what I'm saying? And um, you know what I'm saying? With this science right here, this is going to teach you the importance of why it's important to be around people and places that match your energy. And once you know your own energy, you won't have to even experience a lot of these situations right here. But like I was saying, the person that made you feel the negative energy, right? They're, they're, now look, this energy in general is Venus, right? Venus represents love, appreciation, value, and relativeness. So you need to pay. You need to look at your Venus sign because this person may, may be, they may have a, a sun sign. Their actions and the way they act may be your Venus sign. For an example, your Venus may be Pisces. This person's sun may be Pisces or ascendant may be Pisces, right? Or moon may be Pisces. So when they come into your life, extracting your Venus energy is gonna play out in your Venus energy. So, think of, so when you're around, say you're around a positive person, or say you're around a person who kind of know themselves, right? Then this is going to be the type of person that play out like, okay, you can relate to them a little bit, and this, that, and third. So then they're not, they're not playing as much as a spiritual intruder. Now, the person who don't know themselves, they have no choice but to play a spiritual intruder. You know what I'm saying? Because their, their body, their vessel is getting intruded in. You see what I'm saying? They're being used as a vessel. And a, a person who don't know themselves, they have no choice. You have to keep that in mind. I don't care if they're a relative, friend of yours. I don't care if they're your parents, grandparents, uncles, aunts. It doesn't, nephews, nieces. It doesn't matter. Your own child. But it, your child is your responsibility. So, you know what I'm saying? That That's a different, that's something else. But as far as outside people, you know what I'm saying? Um, they have no choice. Because a person who don't know themselves, they're enticed by reality every day and the things that's within reality and society and the things that's outside of them. Everything outside of them makes them feel whatever like that. And whenever they go into themselves, a lot of times they hate that. These are people who hate being to themselves because they feel like it's boring. They hate being around. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they automatically vampires because they don't have, they don't really know themselves. You know what I'm saying? They get frustrated, so they find themselves having to prove them, overly prove themselves to others. And when they can't live up to the shoes that they that they want to be perceived in, then they, they end up developing self-hate and self-doubt and depression and going around others trying to push off this same energy. And once they see that same energy being received off others, this makes them smile. See, this is another being that's in them. You see what I'm saying? You gotta watch, watch the people who don't know themselves. Say you around somebody and you be like, yeah, man, I be watching this one dude named Archangel Uriel and shit like that. Uh, I be watching the little pilot man shit. And say you put on a video, right? And the first five seconds, you start feeling the energy like, ah, uh, I don't know if I should be watching this around this person because this person don't get it. And start paying attention to like the first couple words they may say, like if it's like in a, in a question fashion or or where's this, or if they paying attention more to my walls or something like that, or they paying attention to... If they, like everything but what's actually the energetic force of what they supposed to be vibing with then that's when you know yeah let me go ahead and pause this video right now because I'm around somebody who don't really know themselves because the moment I put somebody on on the internet that's kinda kicking some shit and if I feel the energy that this too far out for this person that let me know what's already going on in their mind so remember your thoughts is not yours See what I'm saying? So you already receiving the vibrations, and and then if you already and then if you could feel the vibe already, like this person is 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 going through withdrawals in their head, like oh, starting to dictate what I look like, my appearance when I'm around, and everything is instead of the vibe, you're you're around a person who don't know themselves, because a person who truly know themselves has nothing to prove, really don't care to dictate others immediately unless others give a reason to. You see what I'm saying? And a person who know themselves know how to understand the, the flaws and the non-flaws a person may have. Regardless if a person have a lot of shit or they don't have nothing. A person who know themselves know how to decipher the knowledge out of another person. 
You know what I'm saying? Regardless of what they have or may not have. And they will see that area first because that's the within realm first. So off the back, that's already signs right there. Cut the video off and, 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 and just use your science. And, and, and just know that either they're even start to dissect what kind of friend they is. Is there a friend that you can baby feed or is they to lead them up to this situation? Or is there a friend that you just have to cut that, cut that side of the world off with them in general? Because attaching yourself to their world, you're experiencing shit that, that you don't need to be experiencing and you know better. So by you even knowing better, the situation is going to be a worse experience. You know what I'm saying? A person who is lost don't know they lost. So they don't know when things are good or bad unless somebody's telling them this good or bad. A person that's wise and know what's going on, know that that was bad. So a person who is in that area don't know if it was bad or not, they're not going to know. If you was in that area and be able to understand that this was bad, you already know where this why this person keeps stumbling and falling. And be able to help them out or to see if they want help or not. But look, let's tie this into astrology. So that's on a let's let's go to the that's on a Venus scale. You know what I'm saying? So when you got somebody who don't know themselves and they got your Venus sign, yeah, you're gonna feel that way. Say somebody got your Jupiter sign. You know what I'm saying? This gonna be a this gonna be a spiritual intruder because see the, the keys, the stargates is like your planets, your chakras. So these are the stargates. So Jupiter would be like the wisdom and knowledge, the traveling one, by the thighs, the chakra by the thighs, the one that lets you travel. And what's traveling? Traveling distance. And what's distance? Being able to experience locations. And what's what's experiencing locations? You gaining new meaning and reasoning. Uh, you gaining wisdom and knowledge and being able to put new meaning and reasonings behind things. That's like you going to another city, right? The slang may be different than your, uh, the slang from the city you was at. So you're receiving new wisdom and knowledge, but you had to travel there. You had to travel distance. It was another location. So this is why Sagittarius represents, in so many ways, you can dissect that metaphor of what it represents. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to that. And so this is why Pisces go far out in the water as collective conscious because they rule by Jupiter so you know they go far out with their imagination and, and out into the waters the rainbow waters and Sagittarius just go far out in thought go far out into the, in, into, into the sky they shoot the arrow and optimism they try to reach as far as they go so they far out in thought and, and intuition you see what I'm saying? So when you got Jupiter, now if you have a spiritual intruder, right, that has your Jupiter sign, be careful around this person because this is a person that you always going to experience shit that you don't want to experience with. You see what I'm saying? Jupiter brings experiences. Now, Jupiter is experiences and expansion. Now, the experiences could be good or bad, but ultimately it's good because it causes expansion, right? So anytime you expand your mind, that's when you're able to have... Uh, Wisdom and knowledge about about something, excuse me, and have a new meaning and reason behind things. Have a higher mean, put a higher meaning and reason in behind things and things of that nature, or being able to, you know, and it just brings experiences. And with these experiences, whether they're bad or bad or good, you learn something. So ultimately, it's good. Ultimately, it causes expansion, and you always have that optimism nature that to look forward towards things. Now. For a situation when you want to talk about someone who's going to be an energy vent, I mean, a spiritual intruder, and your that that can kind of go through the stargate of your Jupiter, that's somebody you always going to experience something you don't want to experience with. Now, one thing you're going to learn wisdom and knowledge. You're going to always learn something around this person, but you're going to start learning about yourself. You're going to start learning like why do why. Do, am I attracting this person, and and why this person always want to want me to tell them? My uh, give them advice or wisdom and knowledge, and if it, and if you feel drained when you have to give this this person advice, yeah, this is a person who don't know themselves, and they they access your stargate through Jupiter, so they may be your Jupiter sign or something like that. You always going through experiences. It's a it's an experience just being around them. You always feel you always learning something. You always adding higher meanings and reasons to to things when you're around them and when experiences are taking place and things of that nature. That's a person that's an intruder in that way. Now, when you want to go to, um, let's talk about Mars. Now, Mars is intent, willpower, passion, motivation, desires. So, say you you around somebody that you you always feel obligated to try to add on their intent. You know what I'm saying? You ever, you ever feel the vibe of someone who, who come around, you kind of just know their intent and why they come around. It's kind of like the relationship that you built with this person. You know what I'm saying? So, you kind of, like... A person could call you and you automatically know what this person wants.
That's a that's a person that's around you that already have an intent. They already have intentions. And you may have built a relationship with this person based upon them intentions. Now when I say relationship, that could deal with friends, family, uh, business, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? However the initial cause Whatever, whatever was the initial cause or what sparked the relationship, if it continue on that same path, right, and it's dealing with intent to the point that you you already know what this person like. You you got the you know you got them certain associates or certain friends. You got them friends you only go out with. You might got them friends you only smoke with. You might got them friends you only uh, go to school with. You might got them friends. You might got your certain friends you only got at work. You know what I'm saying? The standard third. Then you got them friends who only call you when they want to do something. Call you when they need a ride. You know what I'm saying? This is a this is a person. Now, if you got a person on your negative end of that, like every time you look at the phone, you see a text, or you look at the phone, you see somebody call, and then they already, you feel like you already know their intent, but you feel negatively about it. Like it's, it's off the back something you don't want to do, or something you're not really, you know what I'm saying? This is a person who don't know themselves, who may have your Mars sign. You know what I'm saying? Now, I can actually speak on this also. <laughs> For real though, but that's a person, somebody who always, um, make you feel like they blocking your passion you know what I'm saying when you passionately want to do something when you passionately want to do something uh, these people play as blockages a lot of times they play as blockages to your goals blockages to your intent your willpower your passions these people can even make you feel like you selfish when you're around them you got some people some some people who are being used as a vessel by spirits that's so smart that they can use the left brain and logically make it make you feel like you being selfish by you only caring about your intent you, and your goals and your passions. Yeah, you got you got to get the fuck away from them motherfuckers because that's how it'll happen. You know what I'm saying? But for the most part, this is people who are who are spiritually intruders, spiritual intruders through the Mars situation. So. Let's look at your desires, your goals, your passions, your intent, your willpower. And think about the people who call or the people who are in your life that make you, that they almost feel like blockages. They almost feel like obstacles. They almost feel like they stop you from doing, like for an example, if I'm sitting here and I'm about to do a video and then somebody call or knock or try to come in and, or something like that and then, and these not the type of people I would do a video around or something like that. You know, I, I would, now they probably have an angle towards my Mars sign because my intent is to do this and if and if I have to feel like I shouldn't really do this around these group or certain people then they play out as they don't know themselves and they're affecting my Mars in some way so either they're part of my Mars sign or trining it trining it or sextiling it you know what I'm saying because when we looking at it like this the sextile and uh, I mean uh, the square and opposition may play a little different or the conjunction but the the sextile and the trine is they are gonna have a gift to, and if they don't know themselves, they're going to have a gift to, to fucking me up to what I'm doing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're going to have a, or of a sextile. They, they're going to always have an opportunity to be a blockage to my intent, willpower, passions, or motivations. You get what I'm saying? So, you got to keep that in mind. It's like Mercury. You feel like uh, you're around somebody, you always feel like you got to overthink, overanalyze. You can't never fully speak or communicate fully what you're trying to communicate or analyze them. The communication between y'all is always going over both of each other's head and you always feel you always feel drained in the head you know what I'm saying you always feel like oh man I already know what I'm gonna talk about with this person like say for an example say you go to you at work right and then you may, it may be a person at work that talk about the same thing every time you go to work right that's gonna make you feel negative so when you jump into the vibration of mercury that's thinking communicating and analyzing when you get around this person they exhaust that part of your chakra they ex you don't want to think around them you don't want to analyze and communicate and try to cut the conversation off as quick as possible this is a person who don't know themselves and they're they are affecting your mercury in some type of way they may be your mercury sign you see what I'm saying? And if they don't know themselves, then they're going to affect your mercury in a negative way. They are a spiritual intruder, and they are intruding your communication location. You see what I'm saying? Same way with your moon. Your moon is your who you are, your emotions and feelings, your, how, you, how you respond and react to the world that you're in. You know what I'm saying? And also, it's, um, the moon is who you are. It's your dark space. It's, it's your womb. It's your womb. Inside of you, your transverse uh, is your womb. You know, room. You know what I'm saying? So, this is off the back. One, the sun, moon, and the sun is like the, the easiest ones to get off, especially the moon. Anytime you get them people come around you and you feel emotionally drained, or you, you feel obligated, or you feel, you feel like you can't emotionally express yourself right because you're responsible to, to, their, to certain 
to certain emotions that they carry out. You know what I'm saying? You might not want to hurt their feelings on certain things, or you might not, you know what I'm saying? Just, just, just this person being around emotionally drain you in some type of way. This is a person affecting your moon sign. They may square your moon, you know, with their sun or their actions or something like that. Or they may try on or sextile it, and if they don't know themselves, then they always gonna have an opportunity, AKA sextile, or they always gonna have a gift, AKA trying to come in your life and fuck with you. And throw your vibe off. Start making you forget stuff. Every time they come around, you don't feel right no more. You don't feel like doing certain things. You was all excited and about to do something. Soon somebody else come around and change your whole mood. Now you want to do this. You know what I'm saying? That's somebody affecting your mood. So, yeah, that's spiritual intruders on an astrological side. And you can do that with your personality, your ascendant. You know what I'm saying? That's a person, a person you may be, let's go with the ascendant. A person you may be around that you don't never feel like you want to express your person, your own personality, your full personality around them. You feel restricted around their personality, your personal issues. You never want to go over your personal issues with them and things of that nature. You don't want to make them a part of your personal affairs, aka personal people, places, and things in your life. You don't even want to make them a part of your personal life in any way, shape, or form. But these people may be a part of your personal affairs. They may be your family. They may be your friends. They may be, you know what I'm saying, associates and things of that nature based upon a their sun, their sun sign or they, or whatever other placement. But if they don't know themselves, they have the possibility to be used as a vessel, which 90% of the time it is. And if they come into your personal life, they they come into your they be they're gonna be personal intruders to the point that they're gonna personally affect you in some type of way until you learn how to know your own energies and cut the motherfuckers off. Flight boss, bitch, goddamn air, and that's motherfucking spiritual intruders. 